Meadow is an art project where school children make flowers from plastic rubbish. But well, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be um, using the plastics. But well, we're going to be making like uh, wildflowers from recycled plastic. In the world today, we are now using 20 times as much plastic as we did 50 years ago. Plastic is used to make a huge range of products and packaging that we use in all areas of our lives. Plastic is made from oil. We use about 8% of the world's oil production making plastic. What happens to the plastic bottles we throw away? Well, that depends on where we live. In many areas now, families are encouraged to sort their rubbish at home and put plastic bottles and other materials that can be recycled into a special recycling bin, which then can be collected separately. It is important to try and put everything that can be recycled into the recycling bin. Things we put in the recycling bin still have to be sorted into separate materials. A lot of the recycling bins collected in Merseyside go to the MRF in Bidston on the Wirral. MRF is Materials Recovery Facility. A lot of people will say we uh, recycle. We don't really actually recycle anything, we recover everything and we send it off to people to recycle. So MRF stands for Material Recovery Facility. On a typical day, how many tonnes? We'd probably do about 250 tonnes a day, six days a week. The first material to be taken out is cardboard. The cardboard is basically a manual sort and then it, it, it's dropped down into a chute uh, which takes it into a baler. Then newspaper is removed. The, the second stage is what we call the V-screen which that's designed to take off the clean paper, the flat paper. Telephone directories, yellow pages, things like that. They go into a second manual sorting room where the paper objects are removed. In order to take the glass out, it is smashed into little pieces. The glass is basically goes through a bottle breaker and it just basically gets crushed down to a size where it will fall through the, the gaps. There are two different types of metal cans, steel and aluminium. Both cans pass under and over by magnet, which obviously the steel cans are then lifted out. The aluminium cans run through an eddy current separator which works in an opposite way to a magnet to charge with impulse electricity, basically ejects the, the aluminium can which leaves the plastic behind. The last material to be removed is the plastic. The two paper lines and the plastic line then go into final post sort or quality control before they drop into loadout bays or balers and then they're stored, ready to go out to reprocessors. The recycling of plastic is made difficult because there are many different types of plastic and they all have to be separate. Some factories, like Valpac near Preston, 
have machines which can identify the different types of plastic on a conveyor belt and separate them. Uh, we separate the, uh, the bottles into the two main types of plastic. Uh, the two plastics that, that you see are your, your clear bottles, which is a material called PET, um, and that's used for things like waters, uh, fizzy drinks, that type of thing. And we're separating those from the, the cloudy white plastic, which is a material called HDPE, and that's used for things like milk bottles, shampoo bottles, and uh, products like that. There are other types of plastic as well, but at the moment um, they are not all, all recycled. We separate the plastics using infrared light. Uh, what happens is we shine the light down onto the plastic bottles and a certain amount of light is reflected back up. We then measure how much light is reflected and that is unique for all the different types of plastic out there. And then once the equipment has detected a particular type of bottle, there is then a, a signal sent to some, a compressed air source and that then blows the bottle off the conveyor belt. The, uh, the HDPE material will go to uh, recyclers in, in the UK, also in mainland Europe, but also over to the Far East. Uh, the PET material at the moment typically goes over to India or China for recycling. Uh, but again, we are currently working with UK reprocessors to get that material recycled in the United Kingdom. If you look behind me, you can see there's a number of bales. Each of those bales probably contains somewhere in the region of 15 to 25,000 bottles. Um, the actual sort line itself, when it's running at full speed, will sort about 150,000 bottles per hour. So in a typical day through this plant, we're probably sorting around about one and a half million bottles, which will then go to be recycled. In Liverpool, a company called Centraforce take plastic milk bottles and turn them into a range of new products. Plastic milk bottles, which come in here into, in, in bales, are chopped up into a flake. We push them through a machine called an extruder, which melts it, and we push them out through a thing called a die, which creates the shape of the second product. Our plank range go into a range of products such as furniture, boardwalks, fencing and gates and it's very much the timber market that these products are aimed at. There, there are two primary reasons why the recycling of plastic has such a major impact on the, on the environment. First one is if this material is landfilled it takes up landfill space, it takes up a significant amount of space because it's a light material and it isn't going to degrade. So really it's not a landfillable material. When you recycle it, you either save timber, which has an effect on forests and therefore that impact on the environment, or you're saving oil. So you are looking at two significant benefits coming from recycling of this type of material. More and more recycled goods are appearing in our shops. Some of them made in this country and some of them from abroad. All these bags are made in um, the Philippines out of, they're called rubbish bags because they're made from recycled drinks cartons and they're collected, cleaned up and then they're sewn into the bigger bags. We've got aprons, some of them are cut into strips and woven into different bags and purses. This range of baskets are made in Bangladesh by a group of workers who use traditional basket making techniques using recycled wrappers and crisp packets which they um, use around a bamboo frame to make some nice bright colourful storage. This range of products is recycled by a company called Remarkable and they have a factory in the UK and they use car tyres um, which they recycle into pencil cases, mouse mats and notebooks. They have um, other notebooks made from juice cartons and everything is very helpful because it tells you what it used to be before it was made into what it is now. Although we are recycling more and more every year, some of our rubbish still goes to landfill sites.
This is where they bury the rubbish in the ground. Plastic doesn't rot and will stay in the ground for centuries. Making a meadow reuses plastic bottles, but once the art exhibition is over, the plastic still needs to be thrown away, just like any plastic bottle. But a company in Southport called Smile Plastics take old plastic things and make them into something new. They offered to help make something of the flowers produced on the meadow project. Oh, what do we have here? For recyclable flowers. Could you recycle them, please? Well, what, they're all made from plastic, aren't they? They're all, made, they're all made from things like plastic bottles, aren't they? Well, you said, can I recycle them? Well, normally, normally for, for plastic recycling, we like all the different materials to be kept separate. Like all the polythene bags into one bin, all the, polythene, all the bottles in a different one. Well, here they're all mixed up, but I can do something from them. Because what I can do, I can take them to our factory and I can squash them flat, absolutely flat. And so you end up with a flat sheet, like a picture, which you can hang on a wall. Well, we've brought the plastic flowers made from old plastic bottles to the factory here and now with the process of heat and pressure we're going to squeeze and squash the bottles down into a flat sheet. And this is the end result. All the flowers made from waste plastic, plastic bottles, they've been squashed down into this amazing flat sheet. And all the original colours from the bottles, they're coming through here. Some of the bottles you can see have melted and squirged and mixed into colours. And others have stayed pretty much as they are. But the end result is a wonderful work of art made out of waste plastic bottles. We need to reduce, reuse and recycle if we are going to deal with the growing amount of rubbish we throw away. Reduce the amount of plastic we use, reuse as much as we can and recycle plastic and other materials rather than make new things. We all have a part to play in the way we live our lives. <laughs>